This is a video on 2000 Ford Expedition with the 5.4 4x4 ignition switch replacement. I got a little custom dash in here, but you have to lift this part up. It just clamps in. And I forgot to show you the full breakdown, but you have a bolt here. You have a bolt here. You have two bolts here and a couple more in this little fuse panel opening that you have to remove first. I did take off the brake and the emergency and the uh, hood uh, release, but you don't have to. You just have to take off these two bolts here that bolt to this metal plate. And I've already disassembled you're gonna need an eight millimeter and a seven millimeter and then you're gonna need a 30 star this is seven millimeter when you unbolt that it just comes loose that's your wire harness um, I have the uh, drill last ignition switch this is the new one uh, of course because I work at AutoZone anyway um, you see this bolts up in this section here so basically you just pull this back this bolts up right here and uh, which I'm gonna pause for a second now you have to make sure that you align this pin with that. Let's see if we can get up here. That little hole that you see in that little plastic part right there. Now that you have the switch in place, you just have to put the connector back in and uh, screw this bolt back into it. Okay, now I'm going to start the engine and turn it off. Should be no problems and no clicking. Okay, uh, there's no clicking and I was in a rush to do this so that I didn't have uh, the video showing what the clicking noise sounds like. But what was going on is first turn the engine off, took the key out, engine was still running, still running. And then, OK, now that I've replaced the ignition switch, I can turn the engine on. and turn it off and no accessories are on nothing's running no blower motor you don't hear any clicking and the only thing on that are supposed to be on are the lights all right be safe when you're doing it make sure you undo that battery first 